What's good everybody? My name is Brandon Mitch and I'm actually here to give you guys some skincare tips on actually clear or getting clear body skin. Now I've been getting a lot of questions regarding, you know, what's the routine as far as like, what do you do for your body? How do you get clear skin on your body? Y'all talked, I listened, so here's the video. So first things first, I wanna make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube page. That way you don't miss none of my skincare video, giving you guys the tips to keep your skin clear and fresh. So how do you get clear body skin? So to remind everybody regarding skin in general, it's all, your skin is a reflection of what you're putting on the inside. So the foods you're eating, the things you're drinking, your body's gonna show that. So first things first, you need to make sure you're eating the right foods. You're not eating a lot, whole lot of processed foods. You're not eating a lot of, well, you're not eating a whole lot of fried foods. You're eating good foods that are good for your body. So how do you get clear skin? Well, first things first, your skin is actually gonna be a reflection of what you're putting in your body on the inside. So if you're eating a whole lot of crap, a lot of sugar, a lot of fried foods, a lot of processed foods, a lot of dry food, the drive-in foods or, you know, takeout foods, more than likely a lot of that stuff has a lot of preservatives and it's not the best fuel for your body. So if you're eating this stuff, you're ingesting this stuff, your body, your skin will reflect it. So watching what you're eating, this is really the main thing that will really help turn your skin around in like two weeks, just switching up the way you eat. The next thing, bathing. What? Yes, bathing, but bathing the correct way. Well, I say correct way because this is how I was taught to bathe. But washing your body with some kind of rag. Now, if you're already somebody that does this, does this wash your body with a face cloth and you still get pimples, breakouts, your skin is not the clearest, I would say invest in a loofah. Now, this is just basically a, not a liquid this is basically a physical form of exfoliating just for your body so what is exfoliating good for exfoliating is good for removing dark uh, dark marks helping fade dark marks and actually helps remove uh, the dull skin so if you're somebody who's getting like wrinkles and stuff this is going to help remove the dead skin cells and give you that shiny bouncy fresh firm skin that's what's going to be at the surface when you start to use something like this you want to check the texture of these as well when you're purchasing purchasing them because i have had some that have been rougher than others and you want to find one that actually works well with your skin if you're somebody new to actually using a loofah um you don't want to do this every day you're probably going to want to do this maybe every other day or every two days um you'll get a feel for it as you start to use it you know because if um, you use it every day and this is your first time using it your skin is start to feel like a little sensitive Maybe feels like it has a bunch of scratches all over it That's from your loofah because you've been exfoliating too much. So if you're new to it uh, Every other day or maybe maybe every two days, but invest in a loofah Next thing which is very simple This This is a vitamin C pill now vitamin C is actually responsible for helping your body go into collagen synthesis. So just having a high intake of vitamin C actually helps your body produce more collagen, which will give your skin that more youthful and bouncy look. So ingesting vitamin C, a high intake of vitamin C would be very good. Next thing, when you exfoliate, when you shower, just in general, you need to be hydrating. Even if you're somebody who has oily skin, now, what I use, because I'm a dry skin type, because I'm always ashy, um, I like to use oils and I like to mix back and forth between lotions. Now, this joint is oily because I've been using it now, but this is actually avocado oil. But it's not just avocado oil. I had my other bottle. I don't know where that shea oil is, but it's actually shea oil. So this is actually shea oil and avocado oil. And this is good for me. It helps keep my skin moisturized. And this is what I've been using on the regular. Um, if you can't really use an oil, I would suggest using something like something that's lighter. Maybe you want to look into some hemp lotion. And this is one of the ones I'm using. This is a triple moisturizer from uh, Hemp's. And they actually have just a regular um, version if you feel like the triple moisturizer is too much for your skin. But keep your skin moisturized. So if you've maybe have like some back acne 
or uh, yeah, if you have like back acne or you get like breakouts on your body, you might want to you might want to look into you might want to look into some body washes that actually have an AHA in them, or you want to look into one that actually has salicylic acid. Now I don't know if you guys remember, but salicylic acid was majority of the time a huge product that was in all of our skincare products growing up. Now why? Now salicylic acid is actually good for helping with pimples. It helps dry them. It helps dry pimples out. So if you have body acne, start looking into a body wash. Like I said, that has salicylic acid or an AHA, um, an AHA, uh, an AHA body wash. I don't know how I forgot to mention this uh, soap, but African black soap. Now this is pretty much the black gold. Now we used to use this in high school, or I used I used to use it in high school. Well, let me show you what this looks like first. So I got the cream version, but this actually comes in like the, um, you see how thick it is. This actually comes in a uh, bar form. And when you get the soap, uh, you want the real African black soap because there are a lot of commercial grade versions out there that claim to be African black soap when it's not really the real thing. Um, one thing to notice when you're looking for the soap, it doesn't usually have a smell. So that's one of the ways I'm able to identify the real African black soap. Um, but yeah, I used, to, I used to use this in high school, especially a lot when I had like a lot of acne scars or acne scars, you know, just from uh, acne. Um, I would use this soap and this would be the best thing to help fade dark marks. So it's the same thing with your body. If you have dark marks on your body, you can apply this soap, use it regularly. So just use this soap on a regular and it'll help fade dark marks. Um, especially if you're applying this with the, uh, the loofah and you're exfoliating too while you're using the black soap or bang for your buck. African black soap if you're looking for more of a natural version of soap. Now, I have a, now I have another product that um, I talk about all the time. You pretty much can use it all the time. And if you've guessed it, you're right. The Indian Healing Clay. Now this can be put everywhere, on your scalp, your face, your body. If you have a back acne, especially like on your shoulders, on your back, apply it to your back and this will help dry that stuff out and remove the impurities that are there in your back. Um, if you can't do it yourself, um, ask somebody to do it, but you know, this would be good for you. So, what are the things that are good for clear skin? Exfoliating with the loofah, Indian healing clay, like this little vitamin C pill, vitamin C, high intakes, an oil or a lotion, depending on your skin type, but keeping the skin moisturized. African black soap, some body washes that actually have an AHA in them, or you wanna look into one that actually has salicylic acid. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That way I know to keep making videos like this. But that is all I got for you guys tonight as to how to get clear body skin. So until then, I'll see you guys next video. Take my things. Oh, I almost forgot. And if you are somebody who has sensitive skin, I cannot use an oil every day. If I use an oil every day, I tend to break out here in the crease of my arm. So if you're somebody that's maybe, even if you're using like a baby oil, which is one of the worst oils to use, but if you're using a baby oil and you start to notice that you get like those little bumps like in the crease of your arm or maybe on your neck, more than likely that's from the oil and you should stop using the oil from time to time. Same thing with coconut oil. If you know you get those bumps, just lay off the oil for a couple of days. Um, bounce back and forth between that and a moisturizer if you need to.